What's up, Gundam Kitchen family? It's the chef coming from the kitchen, and I think I smell some new kits, which is a good thing. Look at all the new goodness. Two Origin Zakus, Ayame, and the Maganok. And of course, if you just missed last week's little run of SDs, we got these back in. And if the Dynamises blew by you, they're back in. So very nice shipment of new stuff. And Flames Toys Drifter. This thing is nuts. So I think they're going the route of like they do with the Star Wars figures where they let other companies start making them. Otherwise, it just Hasbro. So, like, Hot Toys makes some really high-end stuff, and all kinds of other guys are making high-end stuff. Well, they let Flames get their hands on some of these, and this thing's nuts. Look at all these hands. Really nice sword. Um, not opening this all the way up, but from what it looks like, dealing with some LEDs inside of there. So, this thing is pretty crazy. And it has a crazy price to go with that, of course, but... Very nice, super cool box. Love the fact you can actually open it up and look at it because I hate all these figures that come in boxes you can't see what's inside. And then before we get into all the new stuff, been having a super hard time getting the top coat in. Um, usually I like the gray cans or the blue cans, but this is the premium, so it's actually, I guess, better than both. But uh, So that is in. Flat is in. Also, super great thing is finally these all finally started coming out. Weird that they just released the LEDs by themselves first without the battery setup, which is dumb as hell. But now we have the battery cases. And what I really like about what they did is they did it for CR1220 and CR2032. And I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure that you just have the option to use whatever you want. I don't think it matters that they came out with two LEDs, but I guess I'll have to double check that for you guys. Yeah, I think it's just interchangeable, whatever battery is easiest for you to find, which is a really nice feature because sometimes these kind of batteries are very hard to find. Usually you can find them at Walmarts or Walgreens and stuff like that, but sometimes they're just not around. And when it comes to the LEDs, I doubt you guys can even see that, but that's the actual LED on there. Super small. Will definitely fit into the head. I mean, with some modifications on the high grade. You could probably put one in each eye if you wanted to get real crazy with it. So, and then they do have like regular size bulbs that are very similar to the big potted LEDs that come on the uh, Gundam ones. Um, so I have those as well. They were part of the last one. And then this is actually an extension. So the cables that come with these are a decent length. They're not very long. So then you get the extension and you can run this easily all the way down through the leg into a base. With this, you could probably just run it right into the backpack if you can hide the the battery case in the backpack. But this will solve those problems. You can like disguise it into a base. So nice job of finally bringing everything out at once. Thank you. Uh, of course, I've only heard good things about the Dynamis so far. Everybody's been playing around with it. It's really liked it and enjoyed it. Um, oh, this little neat thing we got here. So we got some new effect parts. So Van has been popping these out for a little while now. And I cracked this one open to see if I could fit a tea light in there. And it didn't easily fit, but maybe if I break down the tea light and start messing around, if I can get, that, get it going. Um, I think they're primarily meant, I, I made mine into a, a ball, like it was being shot like a fireball here. But basically, it's supposed to be set up so you can have all the different effects, but it's not going to be a 3D display because the back sides will be opened which is kind of weird, not a fan of that, but this way you get a whole lot going on. So you will have that as the front side, but if you went around the back of your display, it will look something like that, which is kind of cheesy. But, you know, usually you put stuff on a shelf and as long as you position it right, you will never look on the back side of it. So not a big deal. And actually this way would be easier to get like LEDs and stuff like that if you wanted to in there. I was also thinking about kind of, um, you see a lot of guys using LEDs inside of com balls. But actually combining this, because it already has a great shape with a little bit of cotton ball outside and give it a little more smoke look, I'm sure you can do some crazy stuff. The other effect doesn't look very um, mecha to me. I think it looks great with uh, Dragon Ball Z characters, but hey, 
do what you like to do, make it work. And of course, it comes with a base to be able to stand all this crazy effects onto. So very nice that it has all this included. So I got a bunch of those for you guys. And then uh, the CPAC I got back in here. So that came out, oh, I guess about a, over a month ago. That might have been a February release. Probably got it. No, that was that was a March and a March release in America at least. So we got that back in stock. Uh, even Galen fans, you got that down there. Unit, was that unit three, I believe? Unit two. Eh, what is it? I don't know. One of the units. But great round GM, of course. And then, I've been saying this for years, but if you're new to us, the Origin kits are some of the best high grades out there. Probably the best high grades out there. So if you have not built any of the Zakus that they have previously come out with, these are pretty much the ones that appeared in the last episode of Origin, which I guess was episode six or seven. And this pretty much has everything on them. So this this one is just a variant of a Zaku, which is really cool because he has uh, Vulcans on the arm and he has some on the chest. And the... Um, the spikes can be taken off, which is really cool because if you notice in, in that uh, episode, some of the Zakus were not rocking all three spikes. So you can take them off, which is, allows so much customization right there. So that's very cool. And these guys just come loaded with weapons. So uh, you get the uh, this huge anti-ship rifle. Um, you get the machine gun with the belt fed. So I think the early ones did not have the belt feed. And it's like eat the bazooka. So these guys are just loaded out with all kinds of accessories. I guess they're just taking care of us as this, uh, the series ends. They hooked us up with a very nice one. And same thing with the Zaku, uh, Char Zaku. So this is the Red Comet version. And completely decked out with all the stuff you could ask for. So you got the, the machine gun with the circular uh, ammo feed on the top. Or you can belt feed them in. Same thing, snipe the uh, ship rifle and the bazooka and, of course, the axe. And, you know, these are just great kits. They have a semi um, frame in the legs. Very nice stuff, especially for a high grade. So definitely get yourself some. If you haven't got any from Origin in the Zakus and you need a Zaku, you got to get these. And if you already got some, you know, you, if you get them all, you got to collect them all. Pokemon. And then Miss <clears throat> Miss Ayami. She is pretty interesting if you like the figureize stuff. So I broke one open already here for you. you. Get a crap ton of these stickers here. All kinds of eye effects. So you can have fun giving her different expressions through the eyes and obviously the eyes are going to be very important for her since you probably will have her on ninja masked up anyway uh this blue is pretty nice very similar shade to the purple in darkness but i think it'll stand out enough nice flesh color you get one two three four heads in this one so that's pretty good so you'll be able to mess around with different expressions through the heads too uh, the part the eyes connect to, I don't see, so I can't tell how many of those yet. But, got some nice white parts here. Which actually look like they have the eyes there, so it might be four of those. So that's four head options right there. You get one of those uh, cheesy little um, SD stands in here. But enough to get her up in the air. And just some nice colors. Purples, blues dark purple, lavender, so, and white, and a little bit of red. So, decent amount of color. She's rocking about four or five colors in her flesh color. So, very nice there. If you're into the figure eyes, especially the Gundam ones, I think it's gonna be a really nice one to add to your collection to get boom enough somebody to hang out with. And then we have the Magana. Did you guys see the P Bandai one? There's so many, like 36 of them, all the different variants of them. That's kind of crazy. It's like $410 if you were in Japan. 
of course, we'll be paying like over five hundred dollars or something like that. So, only disappointment on this one. They did a really good job with these colors, but damn it, they just had to include some stickers, didn't they? So these shoulders get the stickers. So sad, almost perfect. So, but really good color matching between the colors. Pretty happy about that. And these are cool colors because I've never seen these colors match together in the Gundam world. So very nice color combo. Something original, minimally. So I like the fact that they tried something different in colors. We found a kit that had some different colors. So definitely, if you are a Wing fan, I'm sure you'll need to get this and they can battle all your Leos and have a good time. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Definitely come by this weekend. Nothing really insane going on this weekend, but we're always here building and just hanging out and having fun. And next weekend, I moved the potluck to next weekend since the following weekend was a holiday weekend. I figured it might be a little hard for people, so we will be doing the potluck, the Gunpla potluck next weekend. And definitely look for the next uh, After Dark. We'll be changing up a little bit. We got a lot of good feedback from the last After Dark, so we'll definitely be making some mods to it. And I think it'll be even more entertaining as we go along. So join us on that journey. Talk to you guys later. Peace.